Gina, what the hell? New phone, who this? You can't do that in person. It's Charles Boyle, your coworker. Oh, hey, Charles. I just found out that your mom left my dad. They're getting divorced. Eh, they had a good run. Fun fact, the average American marriage lasts fewer than two days. That's not true. It doesn't have to be. It's commentary. Well, you know who didn't think it was a good run? My daddy, Lynn Boyle. He's inconsolable. Well, I'm sure he'll get over it. No, Boyles don't get over it. It becomes part of us. It lives within us. It eats us out. We have to get them back together. Pass. Well, I'm doing it with or without your help. Okay, without. Okay, you call my bluff. It has to be with your help. And I'm not taking no for an answer. No. Okay, you did it again. Why are you like this? I don't know. Gina, do you know Captain Holt's password? Uh, Terry, just because I know all your passwords doesn't mean I know Captain Holt's. Okay, well, we could probably guess it. Why don't you try Bald by Choice or Peckman or Macklemore Enthusiast? Stop saying my passwords! Damn, Gina. Now Terry's got to update his keychain. Start simple. Kevin with a capital K and a one instead of an I. Oh, I feel good about that. Locked out. Too many failed attempts. I only guessed once. Computer will now delete hard drive. <laughs> I got to fix this. Good. You fixed it. Wow, Terry. You put Captain Holt's computer back together? Looks great. Sure did. Couldn't find room inside for this stuff, though. Well, is there any chance the info on his computer was maybe saved to the cloud? I don't know. Gina, was Captain Holt's hard drive backed up to the cloud? Yeah. Then why'd you let me try to rebuild this computer? Because I'm a rascal. OK, I'll just log on to the cloud as Captain Holt and click Forgot Password and answer his security questions. First up, what is God? Jake. Rosa. Good morning. Oh my, we are very close together. I love it. Why'd you stop yelling? Look! Oh, thank God. My wife and my dad are here. I mean, Captain Dad. I mean, I know who my dad is. It's you. Hi, Amy. I just want a quick peek at your attendance record. Zero absences. Oh, mama. Printing this for later. Keep it in your pants, Santiago. Oh, that's exactly where it's going. Call Daddy. Daddy will get us in. Daddy, the man won't let us into the club. Oh. Yes, Daddy. No, Daddy. No. Daddy wants to speak with you. Gladly. Hello, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. No, Daddy. Daddy. Oh, well, good question, Daddy. Daddy wants to get this young man fired. What is your first and last name? <laughs> uh... You know what? Forget about it. You can just go on up. Fantastic. Everything's well, Daddy. We're heading in, Daddy. Heads up! Catch me if you did! You immediately did! No! Oh, stop it! I'm telling Daddy! Daddy! I didn't know. I understand. Goodbye. So, Doug Judy will not be coming in. What? Why not? Oh, I see. He is dead. Guys, are those? Firefighters. Hey, what's going on? Why is the FDNY in our cop bar? We needed a new place since our bar, O'Brien's, burned down. You couldn't put that out? They probably started it. Most arsonists turn out to be firefighters. That's not true, though it is very common, and definitely what happened in this case. I'm surprised you guys even want to come here since you have to take the stairs. I know how much you like sliding on poles. We don't like sliding on poles. We do it to save lives. It's dangerous. You can ask my best friend Steve. Oh, no, wait. You can't, actually, because he's dead. Tripped through a pole hole, broke his neck. That's horrible. <laughs> Doug Judy, I wish you were alive, Doug Judy. God will give you a high five. Doug Judy! Oh, no, he gave himself a key change. Yeah, 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 Doug Judy! You're a friend, 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 Doug Judy! This song is at its end! Thank you so much. You've been a great audience. I mean, it's a funeral. That's psychotic. I'm so sorry. Why are there firefighters here? Did one of them turn out to be an arsonist who burned down their own bar? Actually, yes. Hank, you gotta get rid of these hose humpers. It's them or us. Look, guys, I don't want to take sides. I just want to make money. Then keep it a cop bar. We drink like crazy. Yeah, because of all the tragedy we experience on a daily basis, son. Oh, yeah? We experience plenty of tragedy, too. We lose a man a year to the pole hole. <laughs>
four hours left. We're down $58. Amy, where are you at? Four drinks. What's four drink, Amy, again? Why don't you come over here and find out? Right. Morning, Amy. Feels like you should retire that one for the Me Too era. Why don't you come over here and make me? Guys, I threw up. Oh, man, it's over. We need a miracle. I'm here. Kevin, no. How are you here? You called me. You didn't stop calling me. I didn't call you. Look. You left 17 voicemails. Here's one. Holt! You gotta come save us. We need a lie to get you here. Charles, what should I say? That I got shot in the face! Oh, and tell him to bring pizza. Woo! Creme Hope! We're losing. Yeah! Why are you dancing? Oh, I was up to nine drink Amy, who speaks French. And then I heard. I hurl, hurl. What she's trying to say is that she vomited, and now she's back down to three drink Amy or Amy dance pants. You know it. My God, Hitchcock, are you the only person still making sense? Yeah, it's bad. So, are you gonna make us give up, Clavin? Or are you here to tell us to stop? No, I'm here to help you win. What is happening? Why is this? It's something you said on one of your voicemails after you had sung the entirety of a song called Shake What Your Mama Gave You. You thought you'd hung up, but you hadn't. Anyway, bye-bye. What am I doing calling him? He doesn't care about us or what we want. When I heard that, I was shaken to my core. I thought this bar was beneath me, but what was actually beneath me was my own behavior. I turned my back on... Halt! We do not have time for this. Just drinky, drinky. Hank, bring me a Charbonnet. Oh, hey, babe. Ah! Oh! Hey, Jake! I'm just working! What is wrong with you? What are you doing? Why do you have a knife? Why am I covered in red post-its? That's blood. You're the corpse. Ah! Jake, who is that? Franco McCoy, CSI. He's helping me with the case. For the record, I think it's weird that I'm here, too. Both of you? Get out! Yeah, sounds good. Sorry to wake you. Sweet dreams. Come on. I'd like to introduce you to your new assistant. Drum roll, please. That's your drum roll? When a tempo isn't specified, any reasonable person would default to lento. Well, it's terrible and you ruined a fun thing, but... Ah, good morning, Captain Holt. You're looking refreshed. Interesting. I didn't sleep a wink. Let's just say Kevin no longer has me in the guest room. Nice. My two dads straight smashing it. Sorry, that came out weird. Title your sex tape. <laughs> Is that Raymond Holtz I see? Well, you haven't changed a bit. Neither have you, Ernest. What? Neither have you, Ernest. What? Neither have you, Ernest. Ugh, this is hard to watch. You're just as devious as ever. You seduced the van driver, didn't you? No, I seduced the van driver. She couldn't resist my groovy voodoo. And the yo-yo string was a message. The what was the what? The yo-yo string was... Captain, this is embarrassing. Can we just take him in? Yeah, you're right. This isn't what I'd hoped for. Go ahead and cuff him. Gently. This isn't the last you'll hear from me, Raymond. I'm never gonna die. Sure you won't. Whatever makes you feel better. No, you're the punk. Just put him in the car. Sir, you wanted to see me? Yes, I have an assignment for you. I'm afraid it's not a pleasant one. Oh, my God. Please tell me it's not. Yes. It's Hitchcock-related. Son of a... Bitch. Detective Hitchcock is set to testify in court this afternoon. It's an important case, and I'd rather not get another call from the DA saying he showed up, quote, covered in condiments, unquote. So you want me to keep Hitchcock from spilling on himself for the rest of the day? We both know that's impossible. I'm counting on you. I won't do it. There's nobody else I trust. What you're asking is insane. I'm not asking. It's a suicide mission. Then prepare for death. You've lost your mind. This is a direct order, Detective. Get in line. Hey. You guys startled Hitchcock. He spilled two full jars of spaghetti sauce on himself. Thanks a lot, fellas. Kevin and I went to a dinner party where we played the French parlor game Charades. I had to act out Elvis Presley. He's dead now, so I portrayed him as such. Everyone understood. Watching him work is amazing. Mm -hmm. I have to get video. Santiago, please. Hold the phone horizontal to get more flies in frame. All right, guys, your spam boy stuff is a little much. The only thing that's a little much around here are your scrawled on eyebrows. Yeesh. Seriously? I thought they worked. They do, if you want to look like a mean drag queen. I knew I should have done a flatter arch. This is a nighttime look. <laughs> oh, there is no dip. Just ask Sharon. Oh, no, please. I don't want to do that. That's not necessary. It's OK. I believe you. Hey, hun. Yeah, could you tell Amy how good I am in bed? Because I'm a sex machine who, oh, on speaker? 
Oh, hey girls, how was school? Well, that's always nice. Yeah. Same thing happened to me yesterday. Is that right? Yeah, we had two cancellations, you know. <laughs> At least it wasn't three. You know? <laughs> Have a good afternoon. You okay. Good morning. Oh, um, can I help you? Yes. I am your new patient. Garrett? Garrett is my name, yes. You're an hour and a half early. I know. I have problems with time management. That's the issue I want to talk about. On the phone, you said you were concerned you might have multiple personality disorder. Yep, that do. Got buttloads of peeps living in my brain. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. We should talk about it. So, Garrett, where would you like to begin? You know what, can we crack the door a little? I get very claustrophobic, probably from all the different people living in my head. We usually keep it closed for privacy, but whatever makes you comfortable. Thank you. Damn it, he's still here. Excuse me? Hmm? Uh, I was just talking to another one of the voices. Is it Tatiana? Who now? The mischievous seven-year-old British girl you told me about on the phone. May I speak with her? Uh... Yes? Hello, Doctor. I'm from Wessex. Is that an actual place in England? How should I know? I'm just a little girl, I am, I am. Well, it's nice to speak with you, Tatiana. Can I say hello to Brian, the bookkeeper from central London? Cheers, I'm Brian. I like bookkeeping right in the middle of London. Did I tell you a full list of my old many personalities when I called you on the old telly, innit? Yes, you did. And are any of them, hopefully, not from England? There's Geoffrey. You said he's Australian. Oh, oh, crikey. Well, Garrett, our time is up. Shall we pick up here next week? <sighs> no, I can't go. There's still someone left inside that wants to talk. Do you mean Satchel, the gentle African-American man who was born in 1908? Oh, no. You know what, Satchel? Probably shouldn't come out right now. Or ever, for that matter. Garrett, I can only help you if you open up. And in Dufresne, escape through the tunnels of Shawshank Prison. He was my friend. Are you just doing Morgan Freeman? Ah, oh, yes! And you calling me on it just gave me a major breakthrough. I'm cured! Anyway, deuces, Doc. I misremembered it because I'm reading both simultaneously. One book is too few for me. Where's the red point? The only reason I picked it up was to swat a fly. I mean, I'm not crazy. Oh. Why are there always flowers here? Cupcakes up, everyone. Heather, you already ate yours. The point is to eat it in her faces. Honk, honk, bitches. What the hell? We rented a party limo, drove to Coney Island for hot dogs, and then did karaoke the entire time. I sang It Wasn't Me by Shaggy, crushed it. But that's not even about lunch. It's an experience. Team Amy wins. What? How did you get there? You were just with us. Scully was with them. Free food. Great cupcakes, Sarge. But Amy still wins. Eat snazz, losers. <laughs> Captain and I are gonna walk out of here real slow. No one's gonna move a muscle. Everyone's gonna be okay. Now we're just gonna move. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm in here by choice. Oh, because I hear some banging noises as if someone was struggling to open the door. No, that was the pipes. Or is it the sound of you learning how to ask for help? You know, you can't spell independent without dependent. And you can't spell go f yourself without f you. Jake! Can't hear you, you're shanted. Jake! I told you, I only talk to my friends. No, Jake, I think I just got stabbed by that guy. Oh, yeah, you did. You definitely did. What's up? I got you, Jake. Oh, oh my God, Gina, there's a knife in you. Jake, did you stab Gina? I didn't stab Gina, OK? Santiago, shall we join forces? Oh, smart. Teaming up with the reigning champ. Again with this nonsense, I'm the reigning champ. The only thing you won last heist was a lifetime of mediocre heterosexual intercourse with Jake. How 
dare you? No one thinks you won last year. Wow, really thought the how dare you was gonna be linked to his mean sex comment, but okay. Right, sorry. I'll have you know, Jake and I wear each other out every single night. Good lord, overcompensated. You know what, maybe we just shouldn't talk about this at work. You know what? You all suck! Oh no, my voice command. Terry, look out! <laughs> okay, I know that was bad, but let's not jump to any conclusions about whose fault it was. Wow, what a fun improvised song! Room 410 is this way. Okay, we got him here with one minute to spare. Yes, I knew we could make it. All right, Sarge, you ready to go in there and ace this thing? Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm gonna be a pilot. Okay, well, that's not great. Oh, there's no way you can take the test in that condition. You're right, Amy. You're gonna have to crawl inside his shirt and operate his arms for him. It's a ratatouille situation. On it. No. Guys, I have a great idea for a prank. Before Holt comes in, I'm gonna put ink on the podium where he puts his hands. I don't think you'll fall for that. I did. How? I haven't even opened this yet. I guess it's unrelated. Captain Holt hates pranks. This is gonna backfire, man. Ugh, fine. I'll tone it down. I'll. Move his podium a foot to the left. What? He'll be so angry. Okay, five inches. Five. Three. Three. One. One? All right, I'll move it a half inch. Fine, it's your funeral. Oh my God. Worst mm. prank ever, so stupid Holt's not even gonna notice. Good morning. You guys, the, the podium, it's... <laughs> 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 You're crazy! How did you pull this off? Please think it's the one, two, two. How the hell am I supposed to chant one, two, two? One, two, two! One, two, two! I sound like a damn choo-choo train! Gentlemen, may I present to you the Suicide Squad. Hang on there, genius. You want us, your enemies, to help you bring down Commissioner Kelly? You guys consider me your enemy? You're some of my best friends. We haven't talked to you in like three years, CJ. Wait, yeah, I'm thinking of different guys. Oh, Raymond, that you came to me to ask for help shows how much you've matured. You know what else shows how much you've matured? Your withered face. Now I know why you refer to this as a Suicide Squad, Peralta, because I already want to kill myself. Why don't you wait a week? You'll probably die of old age. The only way I'm gonna die is if you touch me with one of your bony fingers and drag me across the river Styx, you Reaper. Ah, wonderful, very creative. Look, John Kelly has to be stopped. He's spying on civilians. It's unconstitutional and it's wrong. Please, do you think any one of these jackals cares about what's right or wrong? I'll help. See, sir, there is good in every person. But I want it to be known as for selfish reasons. Why would you want that to be known? Because well, I never met CJ before, and I want him to think that I'm cool. It's working. I mean, I love how you're taking over the room. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. You know, I actually wouldn't mind getting rid of John Kelly either. That guy makes up so many dumb rules. He told me I couldn't eat raw chicken. And you think a new commissioner will Yeah, have... he's already on board, so yes, a new commissioner would let you eat raw chicken for whatever reason. It's healthier. It sure is, Siege. And what do you hope to get out of this, Madeline? Let me guess. Revenge on Dorothy for killing your sister. I want the same as you, Raymond. I think what John Kelly is doing is terrible. Yes, well said, Wunch. So we're all on board. This is exciting. Let's bring it in, huh? Suicide Squad on three. Ready? One, two. I don't touch other dudes' hands. Whose hand is sticky? Oh, that might be me. I ate a popsicle earlier. It's probably Madeline. Cockroaches release a mucus like secretion. You would know about roaches, you roach. And three, Suicide Squad! Approaching the target. Okay, let's do this. Masks on. I thought we were getting rubber masks. Yeah, I couldn't find any. It's not Halloween. These look like they're from Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I got them from a sex shop, Amy, and we're lucky to have them. There were only three left. At least you're not wearing a gimp mask. Look, there weren't a lot of options. It was a very awkward retail interaction. Can we please just kidnap CJ now? Ah! Ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! What the ah! You'll never get me alive! Help! Help! Somebody call the police! Oh, here, take her! Take her instead of me! Oh, no, don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Oh, it's you! Yeah, it's us! Get in the van! Oh, okay! Oh. Hey, could we stop and get a slushy? It's just that you guys kind of made me drop it back there. What the hell was that, CJ? I'm sorry! I didn't know it was you! You were supposed to be in gorilla masks! Okay, so, let me get this straight. You thought that we were real kidnappers who showed up at the exact time that we planned a fake kidnapping? Exactly. You get it. He gets it. Nobody's following us. I'm headed back to the world.